okay guys let's take care of the add record so double click on add record and right up here the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare the following dim let's say worksheet I'm gonna say worksheet 1 and worksheet 2 as worksheet right now let's say dim add new add new one and add new two as well we're going to add those ones as let's say as range there now let's set worksheets one equals sheet one and worksheet 2 equals sheet 2 right paste make that 2 and come here make that 2 as well right and the next thing I like to do now is I'm going to have to set let's just set new As add state add new as worksheet one dot range. Okay, and I want you to start from a sixty five thousand three hundred and fifty six. Okay, let's close that dot. and up dot offset right that's the very first one okay that's for the very first worksheet I'm going to copy this because I will repeat exactly the same thing for worksheet number two now so let's make this two and here two as well right so save that now for, for worksheet number one what I want is to use this very variable add new one dot offset and that will be zero that is for the very first column dot what is the value that should go in there the value that should go in there will be txt that dot text right that's for worksheet number one I have about 10 there so I can just copy this and change it around that's five copy another five and just paste that there right and we always start with zero column zero then we have one here two three four five six seven eight and nine i have nine there i think i have nine on worksheet number two as well change this one to two so which means anytime I click on that button all the data on those text box will be saved on worksheet one and worksheet two there we go now let's complete the let's complete the object that is on each worksheet I think this one is going to be first name right 
This one will be so name. Yeah. Now let's see what is do we have. We have telephone. Oh no. It's title there. Okay. Then we have to change it around. Let's go back in there. So this will be. I have to move that here. And this will be title. Right. Then we have telephone here. What test do we have? Age, gender, and dress. Oh, come on. We have age, gender. We have a dress here. We have county here. And finally, we have postcode. Right. That is taken care of. Let's check how that off. Worksheet number two. Okay, we only have eight. So we don't have ten. All right. Then we have the doctor ID, doctor title. All right. This is wrong as well. This should have been combo, combo here as well. Okay. All right, let's go in there. Double click on that. All right, this will be that, and this gender will be C B O. What this will be C B O there. Title will be C B O. Tool here as well for doctor. Right. And that's going to be doc. Then we have then we have uh, first name. Okay, so name. First name and so name for doctor. First name. I guess you guys get the whole idea. I'm gonna speed this up and get back to you shortly. Okay, that is completed, but I want to leave the the following details: patient ID. I think we should leave patients. We should leave the date of the appointment as well, or the appointment. Yeah, okay, date. This is date, and we also need time. Then we need to confirm it as well that yes is confirmed. So those are the information that the doctor we require. Yeah. Confirm. So that is it. So this will be ten. And eleven. Altogether twelve. Okay, now that we've created all of these. I will also need to add some data to the to my list box that is L S T display dot column count right there because I have twelve columns here so I'm just gonna say equals twelve and L S T let's say dot dot rules I'm going to make that B one column and that is going to be L that is column L six five three five six close that 
and that is that and this other one I'm gonna delete that and just replace it with instead of a text box I'm gonna replace it with a list box let's come in here look for a list box here there we go and just replace that let's enter a list box there as well so that will speed up the whole process okay that's fine now let's give the name I'm gonna call it LST appoint let's say appointment that's fine let's copy that name double click on these and back in here so in the case of LST appointment let's paste that and that is going to be 10 I have 10 there let's enter the second one then I can just copy and paste copy paste copy this as well and paste it right there and in here this is 10 it's not 12 in that case this will end in letter J column J that's it done all right so one more thing to do and that is to open up my spreadsheet and add the title let's open it again see all of these titles I want them on my spreadsheet so the first one is going to be patient ID that will be on the spreadsheet itself spreadsheet one I believe yeah that's fine and then I have title there I'm actually copying from here that's on the second one oh, oh no cut that off right here then this one is going to be first name surname telephone number so we can get in touch with the patient if there's any problem then we have the patient age gender address county and finally postcode there that's all there is to it for the very first part of it so I'm going to just make it bold there we go bold so I'll repeat the same thing exactly the same thing for sheet number two with all of this information so I'm going to have to speed that up now that you guys get the whole idea okay guys you can see I've entered the title or the headings whatever you want to call it up to L and here sheet 1 is up to J sheet number 2 is up to L now let me show you guys the codes and there it is sheet 1 up to J starting from B1 to J and up to row Six, uh, 65,356 the same thing here up to L and 65,356 so let's run it and see how it works now let's say the name the title is Mr. and the name is no, the title is Captain, it's not just Paul, all Omen. And telephone number of Captain Omen. There we go. Age of Captain Omen. Yeah, 21. Gender male. Address 1. Godson. And 
county let me say Ewu yeah Ewu why not Ewu Eko and Isa right postcode E E I E E I one Okay, doctor ID title doctor name. Let's say the name is Felix, and the surname is okay, and telephone number of doctor. Okay. mobile number email of Dr. Kelly a at gmail and dates the date of okay that's going to be the date there and is it confirmed yes all I just need to do is to click yeah look at that guys see that that goes right in there check that out okay since we seem to have too many data of a Kelly there so let's delete there we go you see that guys that is fine and we can even reach it while we retain all of our information in there so now let's enter the next patient I say miss Miriam Holy Holy Way Omen. Okay, telephone number Female Age so Twenty One and Address Number Seven God's Home. I say God's County Tell uh, postcode Doctor let's say all the doctor's details and doctor's ID here doctor's name and doctor's details here let's say Peter Peter Long long way and telephone number of long way yeah email of long way and gmail there we go dates and time of appointment we can always just make up the time Okay, time is not specified. The system was meant to generate time. So we just add or let's make that up anyway. Let's say 12. Alright, now add. There we go. You see that guys? And let's see if we can delete. Yes, we can. Yeah. I suppose I fulfilled the request of my viewer out there, so one more thing before I go, I need to show you guys the spreadsheet. So we have to close this exit and let's open up the spreadsheet. There we go. Look at all of the information on sheet number two and let's see sheet number one and the same thing on sheet number one. So guys, with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do like and subscribe. I'm going to say bye for now.